Welcome to class. Today's class is a full body workout that mobilizes and strengthens your body through all the planes of emotion. And because it works everything and moves you in all directions, it's a class you can do every day if you want to, so that you'll feel nice and mobile and grounded as well as calm. And you'll need a TheraBand for today's class. So let's begin lying on our backs on the mat. And I'd like to ask you to take a moment to come into your body. Observe your breath. And see if you can simply be present and aware of your body with no judgment. Just be relaxed and accepting. Now pick up your TheraBand, bring your legs up and in the air and place the band over the balls of your feet and your toes. Hold each end of the band in each of your hands. Bend your knees and we're just going to inhale and as you exhale let's press out one leg into the band and inhale bring it in and then repeat on the other leg. So just alternating legs and you want to have your legs at about hip width apart. Try to open your collarbones and let your elbows feel heavy. Let your head feel nice and relaxed. And as you exhale and your leg moves away, see if you can think of gently drawing in through the deep abdominals. And we'll do one more each side like this. And now let's try pressing into the band with both legs so exhaling as your legs go out inhaling as they come in and you can take your legs higher towards the sky if you want to make it easier or take them lower towards the ground if you want to challenge a little bit but don't go so far down with your legs that you feel your back muscles too much And we'll do one more. Good, and now you can continue with your head down or you can try coming up onto your elbows, keeping your legs lifted. And we're gonna repeat that sequence, pressing into the band with one leg and bringing it in and then the other side. And this time as you're working, try to think of pressing the back of your waistband down into the mat. And one more each side. And you can continue with that variation or if you want to challenge it a little more, take, press out with the both legs again. And again, focusing on the waistband staying down. Really press through the elbows. Good work. So let's come back to lying on our backs again. Have your knees bent and your feet flat on the mat and take hold of the band and just hold your arms up above your shoulders and you want to be holding the band probably a little bit wider than your shoulders. And then from here we're going to begin with both arms, taking both arms overhead. We're going to inhale and then and on the exhale just peel your hips up into a bridge as you bring your arms up to the sky and then all the way down to the floor so you're drawing your shoulders back and pressing your pinkies down into the mat so you feel a little bit of work here you're also pressing your hips up into the band then we're going to peel the spine back down and return the arms so we're going to peel Breathing out, we're going to hold for an in-breath and then we're going to exhale, roll down and return. Up, in-breath, 
Then out breath. We're going to peel up, press the arms down and keep the arms down and peel your spine down. So now you've got your arms down by your sides. I'm going to bring one leg up into a tabletop position. Keep your shoulders drawn back and your pinkies pressed down into the mat. And then we're going to bridge up and down here. So we're just going to inhale, bridge up, exhale down. And we're doing five. That's two. Three. Four. Now on the fifth one, I want you to keep your hips up and we're going to toe tap with the other leg for five, four, keep pressing your hips into the band, three, two, one, and then roll your spine down, lower your leg and raise the other one up. And again, we're peeling up and down for five, four, Three, two, and one, holding the hips up and toe tapping for five, four, three, two, one, and roll the spine down and lower your leg. Now from here what we're going to do is raise the legs up into a tabletop position and this time we're going to put the band over your shins. So you want to have your legs together this time, so squeezing your knees and feet together and pressing your hands down into the mat, so drawing your shoulders back, pinkies down. And we're going to inhale and rock your knees to the side, so pressing into the band and then exhale, return to centre and then we go the other way. And just do your best to keep your arms anchored on the mat and just allowing one hip to lift and the other one stays down, keeping both shoulders anchored. So feeling the work a little through your waist. Inhale to the side, exhale back to centre. Let's do two more each way. work and then from here if you hold it again now raise both arms to the screen and onto the floor above your head and then we'll extend both hips straight and then keeping them straight we're going to do the same way on the right side to the side so inhale and the legs to the side exhale back to centre and inhale Well done. So let's rock up to a seated position and then come to a kneeling position on your mat. 
so kneeling with your hands under your shoulders and your knees under your hips and we're going to do a little movement with your arm so finding length through the spine just begin taking one arm to the side then bring it down to the mat bring it up to your hip and really you're going to have your palm up to the sky here shoulder drawn back keep it lifted you're going to circle it to the side up overhead and then back down so we're going to do that twice more we go to the side back down to the mat we go to our hip we circle all the way around overhead and lower down and one more time we go to the side we go to the hip we circle and then down. Now from here we're going to go into a plank and hold for a count of 10. You can do this on your forearms if your wrists are fatiguing. So just step one leg out and the other leg out and we're going to hold for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Lower your knees and then we're going to repeat that arm movement on the other side. So before you begin just check your collarbones are really wide. Whichever is your supporting arm you're going to see if you can think of drawing that that collarbone wide and the shoulder down a little down your back so you're working under the arm to keep you nice and stable. So taking your arm to the side back down to the mat to your hip circle all the way around overhead and down to the side to the mat to your hip circle overhead and lower down and again we go to the side to your hip circle and down well done and now we're going to hold that plank again so stepping out to hold plank for 10 9 8 7 6 5 4 three two one good work so we're going to repeat that whole sequence again this time adding on a movement with our leg so you can choose to do it with your both knees or both legs in or you can add in the leg movement so what we're going to do is go back to the first side you're going to extend whichever arm you're reaching so if I'm reaching my left arm I'm going to extend my right leg and I'm going to hold my leg up as my arm goes to the side my arm goes to the mat my arm goes to my hip it circles around and then it comes back down and the leg comes in so you're holding the leg out the whole time so we go out with the leg arm goes to the side to the mat to your hip circle around down one more time leg goes out arm goes to the side to the mat to your hip circle around and down remember you can do the plank on the forearms if you need to if your wrists are fatiguing so we're stepping out one leg and the other leg into plank let's hold for 10 9 8 7 6 5 4 3 2 1 well done just one more uh, of these on the other side and then one more plank and then we're going to move on to the next thing Okay, so you're going to extend the opposite leg and arm. Arm goes to the side, to the mat, to your hip. Circle all the way around and down. Extend the leg, arm goes to the side, to the mat, to your hip. Circle around, back down. One more time, leg goes out, arm goes to the side, down, hip. Circle around back down and holding plank one last time going out one leg the other 10 9 8 7 6 5 4 3 2 1 good work and then we're just going to lower the knees down open your knees and put your feet together set your bottom right back on your feet head to the mat for a rest stretch so we're just going to hold this for a few big breaths allowing your body to soften into the mat every time you breathe out a nice big inhale 
and relaxed exhale.